All right, now let's move on. Lori is hanging on in San Diego, home of Comic Con. Yeah. Do you ever go to Comic Con, or you stay well no. away? Well away. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what can I, what can I do for you, Lori? Oh, I did a very bad bad thing. I lost some very important audio file. Their audio, not uh, video. Okay. I just spoke to the screener. Yeah. Um, my phone was saying out of internal storage, so I got rid of some apps and uh, got deleted all the cache files, uh, oh. all my apps, and I did not know that it would take, the, these voice recordings were in a cache. Were they um, voicemails or recordings you no. made with a recorder? Yeah, it's like an audio recorder on my phone. All right, so once it's erased from the phone, it's not recoverable on the phone, but did you ever connect it to the computer? And No. Never. Nope. I was in the process of trying to get them forwarded over to, you know, my email, and um, they just wouldn't go, and I think it was because it was uh, too much storage space, so that's why yeah. I, so I didn't really try to delete. So uh, iPhones are, um, it was an iPhone, right? No. Oh. It's the LG G2. Oh, it's an Android device. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, iPhones have this kind of nice automatic backup capability. You can do it wirelessly if you turn on iCloud or if you connect it via a USB cable to your computer, iTunes will back it up. And had that happened, mm -hmm. you would be able to get into that and get the data out of it. Yeah, um, Android that. phones, the way they back up is not quite as complete. You There's a checkbox in the settings. Uh, it's the backup and reset uh, uh, setting or backup. Sometimes it depends on the phone. It has different names. Uh, and it will back up, like in, but it's mostly like information, login, network information. It won't back up data files. For that, you either have to put another application on there or uh, you have to, cop con again, connect it to a computer and manually copy the files off. You can... Uh, there's okay, one no, possible I can't, I can't one. Do that now. No, one possible okay. thing. How long has it been since you deleted those? Last night. Okay. Uh, don't do too much, okay, mm -hmm. with the phone because everything you do at this point has the potential to erase the stuff on the phone. But okay. you can, on most Android devices, if you get a USB cable, connect your phone to your computer. Do you have a Mac or a PC? A PC. A PC. Connect it to the computer. The phone will see that it's connected to a computer. Most of the time, it'll pop up a little dialogue that says, oh, do you want to be a camera? That's photo transfer protocol, or PTP. Mm -hmm. Or do you I like... That last night, but it didn't give me any prompt. Didn't tell you. Well, pull down the notifications, see if there's anything there. Sometimes it might not pop it up. Oh, okay. Pull down the notifications. Because if, if you could put it in... There's two possibilities, media transfer protocol, MTP, or sometimes you can see it just like a disk. It'll be, um, uh, you know, uh, USB mass storage. If you can get to the phone that way, and what you need to be, by the way, get it to it as a mass storage device, then it looks to your PC like any other drive. You'll see folders, you'll see files. Now, you erased those, uh -huh. so... Uh, I would look around and see if you can see them, but maybe there's maybe there's a copy there that you didn't get erased. But mm -hmm. if there isn't, then you could run recovery software on it. See, when files are erased on hard drives or on storage and phones, it's the same. Generally speaking, the data itself is not deleted. Yeah. Just it's just the air the area I where it's stored it. is released for reuse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if, And you did it last night, so chances are nothing's overwritten it, or maybe only a few things are overwritten. Uh -huh. um, so it, with any luck, and this is kind of, there's a lot of ifs here, you can connect it to a computer, see it as a drive. As a, what you want is the drive to mount on your computer. You'll see a little icon that's the phone drive. Then you could run into a program like Recuva, R-E-C-U-V-A, an unerased program. I'm going to put a link uh, in the show notes to a website called Instructables, and thank you for the, the link from the chat room, that describes this process. Okay. Um, there's a program they recommend called Dr. Phone, with an F, at easyphonerecovery.com, that is designed to unerase files. I'll put a link in there. Or you could go to easyphonerecovery.com. I have not tried this. 
Um, you may see, if you go to the link, uh, Instructables, you'll see a number of related articles that are similar, how to recover deleted or lost photos from Android, how to recover files from Android, how to recover deleted photos from Android. You know, a photo or sound, it doesn't matter. It's okay. a file. Okay. So anything you see about recovering deleted things, you may have to try a few things. The trick on this is... Uh, I would, you know, be, don't use the phone. Use the phone as little as possible because any file, anything you put on that phone, yeah, is could potentially could er overwrite that erased file. Right? It's now okay. been released, so that's one okay. issue, right? And then, uh, you know, uh, you're gonna just gonna have to uh, cross your fingers and hope that you find the the key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. Very important, and I don't know. I'm not very technical savvy. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, if there is in town, and I'm sure there are plenty of these in San Diego, a mm -hmm. uh, phone repair store where they replace cracked screens and stuff, yeah, tends to be run by geeks. <laughs> and, okay. and in my experience, very nice geeks who know more than just fixing the hardware. You might go to one of those and say, and, and maybe you'll have to go to a couple and say, hey, guys, I've lost some files. And trust mm -hmm. your instinct. If the guy's kind of, like, yeah, yeah, I, I can do that. Yeah, sure. Maybe find somebody who's got more confidence. Uh -huh. <laughs> but those guys tend to be, my experience has been pretty smart in terms of how uh, these phones work. They can also help you. Okay, if, there's, if you could reach out to anybody in San Diego, if they know of anybody... Yeah, well, if anybody's listening, uh, you can mention it in our chat room or put a link. You know, we'll put this, of course, in our website, techguylabs.com. Mention mm -hmm. that. Um, you could just call around and say, hey, I, you know, tell them the story. I deleted some files on my Android phone. Do you have any expertise in undeleting files? They sh it should not be expensive. It's okay. not a lot of time and trouble. And they don't have to disassemble the phone. It's all software. So 50 bucks, 100 bucks, no more than that. Don't pay them more than that. Uh, try to find somebody who knows what they're doing. But those guys, my experience has been, they're usually pretty smart. Leo Laporte, I'm sorry, the tech guy.